everybody welcome back to some factorio uh, so right now I think the play is going to be nothing now uh, we're going to definitely finish up this research that I'm doing here uh, but we're gonna start working on our main bus uh, which is a very interesting concept that you all will love but and cherish uh, tenderly so let's just see how we'll do this so I want to make the bus go down the right side here there is a base there that we're gonna have to kind of take care of but actually a couple things we need to take care of maybe maybe combat oh yeah they're uh, uh, they're coming at us now that's why we have the walls you just see if I have yeah I have three turrets everywhere now Wow all right yeah we need to start concerning ourselves with the main bus so this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to just take all the ammunition here. Uh, we can still kind of have one of these. We just have to put it like, whoops, um, uh, like right here instead. Yeah, so as you can see, the game is now kicking up the difficulty just slightly. Um, so that's good times. And I, I don't need all this coal, so I'm just going to put it into these random ass places. Um, so we can still manually handcraft turrets. I actually have no qualms with that. Um, Manually handcrafting stuff is still good, uh, but yeah, we need to start bringing things down this side. So we want to add an adequate amount of space. So it's probably going to actually be something like this. It's going to come down a bit and a bit over, I think. Uh, and you're going to ask why, and to that I say you'll find out a little later, I guess. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna also handcraft some other materials that we're going to need. Uh, probably not so much of these, because these take too much resources. But we do need splitters and stuff. Alright. So we're going to try and upgrade our science now. This is actually probably the more important part of what we need to be doing. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to make more assembly machines. So we're going to be... Uh, huh. Actually, I may have changed my mind on how we do the gear. So, what I normally do uh, is I make gears all in one place. So, I know I'm, dest I'm destroying this, but I actually didn't plan this out accordingly. Um, Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a... Uh, something like this, actually. So we kind of need to make splitters and underground belts and stuff as a core part of our resources here. So we're going to have to do something like this. So we're trying to, at the moment, um, make gears. And gears is actually like, we just need gears literally all the time uh, with with Factorio, like it's, it is, um, it's either we, so gears require four iron plates and it's either we make gears at the source of everything that we, we possibly construct, or we do this, which is essentially to just make the gears in one place, which is actually much better, believe it or not. Um, because it just, it literally just sucks to have to make gears in like a, um, at the source. So if we have one belt that always has some gears on it then we're good but we don't need that many gears so that's why we kind of do it like this yeah they're they're after us but luckily we do have an abundance of ammunition so uh that's not the problem but we need to get going with the tech right away uh all right so we we split it off here and this way we can kind of build this downward and, and we're fine uh and that's good okay so that's it for that one uh, we're gonna make the gears kind of come down this way. I guess. Oh, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so this is this is gonna not make sense right now, but it's actually for a reason. Uh, we're we're actually doing gonna be constructing this in such a way where um, where everything comes down a bus line here, and it's gonna be amazing. Alright, so that's that's the first bus. And the second bus is gonna come right here. 
And everything is being spaced out actually just perfectly, believe it or not. Uh, we do this. Do we have more uh, turrets? We have more turrets. So I think just having that one machine on that uh, right now is, is good. All right, so the next thing we need is uh, assembly machine twos. It's gonna cost 320 uh, science, but I mean, it's, it's it'll be going. It'll be going as fast as it can. Now I know this this isn't particularly fast as spelting that, but we're working on it. Believe me, we're working on it. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, now we need to make a place to make uh, some fancy ass microchips. Now microchips are going to be a really interesting layout. And I'm going to have you wrap your head around this kind of... So right now we're, we're just making intermediate items like this, like uh, gears and ammunition stuff. So what do microchips need? All right. They require three electronic circuits. Oh, no, sorry, fuck. Sorry, they require... They require... They don't need electronic circuits. They are electronic circuits. Um, all right, so they need two iron plates, ten copper cables. Uh, and ten copper cables, basically, you get two from every one. So that's 10 copper cables. You need five assembly machines feeding in. And this is just a this is just an expensive mode thing. It's ridiculous. This isn't actually part of the core game. It's just the stupidity of this mode in particular. Um, I can see this this shit's just eating the uh, the iron right off here, but it's making like tons of gears. So we can actually we can actually go take take a bunch of these gears because it'll save some time. Okay, they are going ham here. So anyways, so to make to make what we need, we need to construct this in such a way where it comes down this one line. So I'm gonna have, once again, I'm having two lines here, but it, there's actually a good reason for this. Uh, let's see here. Because we actually don't need that much more uh, copper right now. So this is gonna be the line of, uh, it doesn't actually actually have to be particularly right here. We can actually spread it up that way. So it's gonna need some iron as well. Yeah, they're just going ham, aren't they? As I said, luckily they're not ranged yet, but it's the fact that I have so much uh, resources that they hate. I wonder, do I have my blueprint? I actually technically have my blueprint of how I normally do this. That's kind of how it looks, but I'm wondering if I should just place this down and it'll confuse the shit out of everybody. Because it probably will confuse the shit out of everybody. I mean, it's whatever. Uh, fuck. I mean, I'll, I'll try to kind of just make it and then, then you'll kind of see how I explain it to you guys. So, kind of works like this. So this is going to be some copper right here. Oops, I put this down here. So, this needs a couple, th it needs a lot of copper and it needs a lot of iron and some other crap like that, so... It's not fun. But we'll start it like right here. Uh, like that. So, the main thing is that the machines have to be able to feed in the copper that it needs. Like this. And then, so five machines have to be constantly giving uh, however many. Uh, yeah, we need we need a lot of a lot of things here. This is this is like not the not the ideal part of of this game for me. <laughs> so we split this off and we split it again. Uh, yeah, actually, this is perfect. So we have underground belts. So it, it, this is gonna totally not make sense, but we have to feed copper plates to every single mechanism here. Um, so it's gonna be insane. Uh, well, not insane, but you know. It's gonna be crazy, crazy fun for a guy like me. All right. I, I love this kind of stuff. So. All right, so we got copper coming out off those things. We're gonna need iron too, but we gotta bring that over our own way. 
can also bring over power right now. Now, as I said, it's 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 weird how this works, I know, but yeah. So since it's making two, um, it, as I said, every time it makes two copper cables, that's why it says two X copper cables for each copper plate. That's why we need the fast inserters on this side. And then, of course I'm still making this crap. You actually need other things before that. See, like, uh, look how long it takes to make green chips. Like, it, it just takes so darn long. And so that's why we kind of need this uh, mechanism right now. All right, I'm going to put this guy up here. Actually, I should probably place these. All right, he's going to make that instead. All right, so this will take copper. This will take copper. This will take copper. This will take, whoops. This will take copper. This will take copper. All right. As I said, it, it looks kind of wonky right now, but I mean, this is this is engineering games for you guys. So now it's getting all the copper cables it needs. Now it needs two iron plates. So that's what we have to bring from over here. And this is when you get into some serious belt spaghetti madness. But I, I've tried to leave adequate space for this thing. Uh, let's go like something like this. Uh, do we go like this? Yeah, we go like this. Okay. Uh, so this actually needs to be splittered, uh, because it will actually need one on the other side too. This one belt should be enough though. And we're also going to need a long arm splitter, which you haven't actually seen yet. Uh, it's this one right here. And then we need another blue guy right here to take in that stuff. So it can, it can bring things off of, um, it, the, the, the arms can bring things off of uh, basically anything it wants to. So we don't actually have to bring this any further, actually. Uh, we can just kind of leave it like that. But as you can see now, we're actually making green sh uh, green ships, which is excellent. Uh, and this is, as I said, if you had to do this in every single place where you were actually putting down the, uh, the machines, it would be literally awful. Um, so that's why we don't do that. So, and now we just simply copy it to the other side. I know it's a bit of a confusing layout, um, and as I said, it, there's a reason for the re like why it's like this, and it's just because it's just it's the crazy amount of uh, lo logistics required around this crap. It's 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 nuts. It, it, it's just serious. It's just seriously. It's just nuts. Um, so that's why we're doing it like this. Because um, you just we need so many green chips, and it's better that we make it in such a way that's up here. And then we can also bring it up. We can also take it upward. It's it's like copy and pasteable sort of a thing. That's what blueprints are kind of for. Um, we we're not going to de delve too much into the blueprints as of yet. But um, this is actually like if you've played non Death World sort of settings. Uh, actually, I can go grab some of these green chips. Yeah, this will now speed up actually our crafting process tremendously. Because this is act this has been actually the biggest issue for us. In, in, in playing this game so far is like having to make this these garbage green chips uh, and like it's just the logistics around this are just so bad uh, because they did they take so long to make but now we have uh, using some fucking voodoo magic uh, we have now as many as we like which side did I put that on right here so we all love voodoo magic yeah, I don't think we need too much more. Okay. So, and it's also why we made so many belts before. Uh, it's for crap like this uh, that we do. So, we're, we're leaving it in such a way where it can be expanded on. But, like, if you actually look at the machine, you can actually see what the slowest part is. And it's just barely the copper cables are not fast enough. But it'll get better. Uh, so, it's bit, this is basically, this entire system here is going to make, essentially, the equivalent of... Uh, one uh, one one chip per second because this these machines work at half speed so it will be enough for now. Oops. All right, so this is now complete. So now we have two sides of chips coming down, and we can actually bring that down. And this is what the main bus is for. And so, like, if I if I if I kind of just go some of this thing this shit out, you'll kind of get an idea of how this is gonna work. 
So there's actually going to be a space in the middle here, and you're going to see why there is that space uh, a little bit later. Uh, but it's all for a very good reason. So we bring this all the way down here-ish. Uh, now, unfortunately, we do have to move our turrets line a little bit over here somewhere, or make a new one or something. So we're going to just make some turrets here and give me that ammo back. Um, we are going to need more ammunition than this, actually. So we also need to start considering to ourselves <clears throat> to make a bit more iron here. Uh, the thing is, I don't actually want to tap into this iron quite yet. We could make another furnace line that basically just feeds off of the same one, but uh, that's actually not the most ideal solution for me. Um, there's actually a good reason for that, but we'll see. You'll see a little bit later. Just to make sure that our... Okay, that actually doesn't have an extra turret. Let's, say, let's go take care of that for a sec. Do we need another line? So yeah, as you can see, we have like a really nice lines now for this garbage. So that's kind of nice. Actually, you know what? That That is making more than sufficient amounts of ammunition. As long as that one machine is going all the time, it's fine. Okay. Wow, they've been uh, making friends here. So we don't want to give it all the ammo in case something happens to it. But yeah, we need to check every once in a while to make sure that the turrets are doing okay. You see how like faster everything is is crafting now, right? Like it's it's because I actually have green chips in my inventory that are pre-made. And that's that's like a big step towards like becoming more efficient. So production is still good for for power, so we don't have to actually concern ourselves too much with that. Um so yeah, we're we're kind of building more downwards, and so now we gotta concern ourselves with Red science production. So, what were we doing before with root blue science? Well, we have this gear machine going into these red science things, which are now out of gears. But we don't we don't care because fuck it. So while I'm at it, I'm just gonna start making some of these science things. Um, I, I should actually just delete the rest of this, honestly, because uh, I'm done with this. We're we're making better science now. So um, we go for a very happy arbitrary number when it comes to our sciencing in this game. Uh, and I go for once one unit of science of any type per second. That's what I do. Um, so we're gonna start our science, let's say over here, maybe here. Yeah, I just wanna make, make, give myself enough space. So it's gonna start here and we're gonna have uh, assembly machines. How many do I have? I have four. What do I still need for that iron plates? So luckily now we have a system where I can just kind of just eat things off of the line. And we're good. And unfortunately we still need more chips for some reason. So we're just gonna... Just take a bunch of these, because yeah. We're, we're consuming a lot of stuff now, but that's fine. Um, I just want to get our, our science going very nicely. So, so what I do is one science per second. So you see this? Science spec one takes five seconds. You make five of these. It's not one per second technically, because it's these are slow assembly machines, but uh, it's close enough to the ratio that we would like. Um, so that's kind of what we go for. So this needs copper plates and iron gear wheels. So the way it works is we don't ever put anything in between in the middle there. We are putting everything on the other side. Um, so how, this is how we do things. So we have this. We have this belt. We have some inserters. And it puts it back on back on this belt. Okay, I, I saw like 11 things getting damaged and then I'm like, oh, is something dying? And I don't think this is dying. All right, so this is, we have six of these and you'll realize why this ratio kind of is the way it is. Uh, so then we gotta concern ourselves with bringing some other resources over. So uh, we go, hey, bring that over. Uh, I probably should give this a bit more space. Yeah, we're gonna give it a bit more space this way. Sorry, there's actually a good reason for this. Uh, you'll see later. Build it more to the side. And copy and paste this. I'm alt right clicking and then left alt, uh, sorry, shift left right clicking, shift left clicking on that. That's just a, a key that you, you do uh, so we can go like this. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just do something like this. It's fine. 
left. And we have so we have we need just iron gears and we need copper plates. So it's it's actually pretty simple. So we 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 do this so we can use the middle of these and kind of bring bring whatever we need over. Um, and it it's just, just like some serious like future planning shit. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I messed this up because I can't actually. It actually needs to be more like that, so it means that it needs to be uglier and uh, kind of come from up here. Uh, there you go. Like, it, it's all for a good reason. It's all for a good reason, I assure you. So now, it is bringing both copper plates and iron gears to this place. Uh, we need to bring power. Uh, it's probably not the best place for it, but like I said, we'll probably change it out later. Alright. Probably just do something like this. Alright, there we go. And we could also start making a crap ton of these things, the machines. And as I said, luckily since we, we work this out in such a way where we just we get gears coming all the time and all that kind of stuff, we just can make as much science machines as we need to and all that kind of jazz. And then that's good. Um, so a little bit over here. Make like one, two, th actually, yeah, like two lines. Which means we're going to need more turrets here, unfortunately, because they also like to destroy science machines. They love to destroy science machines. Hell, I love to destroy science machines. We're gonna need another row. Okay, so usually I go by like five. Okay, this is good enough actually for now. But we'll make one more row in a second. Oh, we got one more. So I, I, I was just putting in stuff and then removing it. All right, just gotta make sure this is defended. This is our important science things. Do not, t do not steal. All right, and then what we can do is we can make a couple more uh, inserters. And then there's gonna be one more row of this stuff, by the way. That's why you see me put, putting one more. Shit. Okay. For some reason they touched my power. I don't know how they got it, got over there, but it looks like they may be coming from another angle now, maybe. Such trash. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. I can't go every single time that there's like the the, the fucking tarts are crying and where I fucking got hit by something. It just, just doesn't work, guys. We got belts to do and some other stuff. All right. Uh, so yeah, these are almost good. Oh, we. Apparently made some turrets. All right, so this is a little bit more science than we were producing before, just just slightly. Uh, but it's all required, I assure you. All right, we need five more labs, and then I'm satisfied with everything. Uh, we need two more. Now this unfortunately might be, and so by the way, they use the um, the basically communism. They kind of share the science facts that they get like that. Uh, by the way, the only reason that they seem to be eating through the science facts really quickly is because the science we happen to be doing is five seconds, uh, which is usually like 30 seconds. So this amount of science uh, stations I've made is actually gonna be acceptable for later stages in the game. Uh, but we will let this continue. And in fact, what we could do just to just to jumpstart this stuff, we can actually make like two more. Like, I actually, I have no qualms about this. We'll, we'll just destroy them later. Because we, we actually just need to, we, we need to catch up on our science. Eventually this will be at the point where it's like, oh, we're doing more difficult things, so this doesn't actually matter, but yeah. All right, so let's make some more of this crap. It's just that they're very slow right now. Wait, I had four of them. Apparently I put that in the wrong direction. I'm not, I'm not sure when that happened. Let me... Okay, so apparently holding alt doesn't actually show the direction of inserters, but there is an option for that. I know that. But whatever. Um, Alright, so that's done with that. Um, 
Now we're gonna do green science. And I know it's a big jump, but I trust in us that we will get this done. Because the green science will also yield a couple of really interesting things for us that we need. Uh, so it's actually good to do. So green science. Um, once again, I will show you how this works out. So green science, what does that require? Okay, well, these, they're coming in over here. Nasty, nasty biters. All right. So, green science requires one inserter, one transfer belt. Well, you've already seen me make transfer belts. It's one iron gear, one plate. So we have those both on our bus. So that's pretty good. All right, so what does inserters require? One electronic circuit, one iron gear, and one plate. So you can kind of see the system that we have working here uh, for us. Uh, so it's very nice. Um, so basically all the materials that we need is actually straight on this this belt right here. Uh, and it's, it, uh, it's all by design. Um, it's kind of, this is ugly. As I said, we're gonna remove some of these a little later, so just just relax, guys. All right, so we need now two assembly machines. I don't actually wanna make them over here, though. Uh, I kinda of would like to make them kind of over here, but let's see how this works out. Uh, all right, so one of the other little lesser known mechanics of how this game works. So we're going to do something a little bit funky here. Um, shit. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because I actually don't want to put things too much over here. I was going to have a path in the middle here for me to walk around. Uh, but we do need to have our... Uh, <laughs> we, need, we do need to make their two materials here. Maybe we'll do something like this. Yeah, something like that. That's good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Something like this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So this is going to make... Uh, where is it? This is going to make inserters. Oh, right, of course. Uh, so these can only make things of two materials, uh, like the assembly machines. Uh, this can only make two th things that require two ingredients. It sort of require a little bit more than that, but that's okay because honestly, it doesn't really matter because automation two is just about to finish. So uh, let's just you know chillax for uh, for a little bit and uh, we'll just make some other stuff in the meantime, or just kind of actually just set this up to begin with. So we do need these chips first. Now we're, we're kind of doing this now for a few reasons, because uh, we're going to be going into some filter inserters to get some of the materials that we also need for that, but that's okay for now. Uh, so I did finish, but I'm just going to wrap up what I was doing here. Uh, is this what I want? Yeah, it's like this. Like I said, we make sure that there's... Um, uh, it, it may just seem unnecessary to you to, to place this down, especially since we're maybe not really requiring it right now, but yeah, let's do some bullet damage. And these actually require a little bit more time, so... Also, we're, we're about to do like a massive upgrade to all our assembly machines. Like, it's actually going to be disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Alright, so, assembly machine twos, I'll get into in just a minute. Um, so these, uh, now have a crafting speed of 0.75, but they have slightly more energy consumption. Uh, but, and they also require a fair bit of resources to create. So our iron production is probably not enough right now, but we can luckily now make that. Uh, we can now make the things we need. Okay. Go up there and see what the deal is. All right, what got destroyed? Uh, they they killed one of these things. Uh. Look at that. that is insane what they've been doing here. Well, luckily, we haven't gotten our some of the other little porn stuff destroyed. I guess they were just surrounding, and they're like, "Well, we can't hit it, so we're gonna have to hit the the miners." So. 
That will happen. But we do have a lot of walls here. But we have a lot more resources to get out of that. Actually, that we've gone through about a third of this, actually, so... It's, it's still pretty good. We're still fine. Alright. We can't distract ourselves too much with this garbage, because... Actually, how much ammunition does these turrets have? Okay, we'll give it a little bit more since we're up here. Just because I feel bad. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, if they uh, cause us problems, then uh, they will cause us problems. That's just how it kind of works. And it looks like we've just kind of gone through all of the, uh, the the copper that we had. It means we're going to need more copper. But let's focus more upon uh, our other things first. Like, mo mostly doing this green science garbage. Uh, <clears throat> so this needs, like, I, I think it doesn't need the materials that quickly, but we'll see. So we're going to do something like this. So it will come through and come through again. So belts is something that actually will make, it will make two of them. So we actually can use a fast on, on uh, inserted down here. Uh, can we make more? Okay, we can totally make more of this stuff. Alright, so we did bullet damage one, that will be good. We can't do bullet damage two yet, so... Um, and we're not quite at the point where we have green science being made, so... We're gonna have to kind of... Take a... Take a sec for it, for that to... Become a reality. Need more iron plates. This is Factorio, the quest for more iron plates. That is going to be our job right after this, uh, let me tell you. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, I do have a bit more. Alright. Alright, that's good. Let me kind of do the rest over here. Yeah, we'll have to do something like this. Alright. Actually, this cannot be here. It's going to have to be something like over here. All right, there you go. And now these things will make inserters and all that. And we make two filter inserters. We have a box over here. And the reason for this is because uh, where we're gonna handle too much stuff is we're gonna actually grab belts and we're gonna also grab inserters. And we're gonna put them into boxes. And this way we have always like a box full of both. If it happens to make it to the end, that is. Uh, unfortunately, it just looks like that we have major problems with supply right now, so... Uh, it's just that we need another, we need another line of, uh, of smelter, of furnaces, which we have enough for that. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with this a little later. We actually ran out of walls. Fuck. <laughs> uh, destroyed my life. Alright. We basically kind of fed all of our ammunition to this thing, which is probably a mistake. Oops. Where did I put this? Okay, put it right there. Uh, how much ammunition is in here? 521. Okay, so we got another two clips, kind of a, a two full ammunition thingies for this. Alright, I don't like doing this, but we're gonna do this anyways, just because we are, are for some reason in dire need of more more iron, so... Um, we also should probably move this down as well. But yeah. Alright, I, I made another furnace layout here. Um, I don't know what to do about these gears right now, because I, I kind of regret putting them in the position that I did. Uh, but I think we can kind of just deal with it for now. Uh, particularly because I can just kind of do this. Uh, yeah, well, whatever, we'll, we'll solve this problem a little later. Whoops, no, 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 no. That's what we just tried to do. So I decided to skip this because you guys have seen furnace layouts from me already several times. Um, 
So, yeah, we, we're now, like, just eating through our iron, like, no tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna have to increase our supply over here. What else do we need? More gears. Luckily, we have more coming down the pipe. Alright, we can use some more of this crap now. And also, like, copper is also a little bit of a problem now. Um, just slight problem. Uh, but uh, it's nothing that more miners can't solve. Uh, the only thing is that our power is increasing exponentially. I'm just gonna take some of these these things because yeah. All right, so let's uh, increase our mining output here because this is uh, this is truly not sufficient. Um, makes me very sad. Actually, we're gonna do something else with this. Trying to mine these ones out. All right. And then I think I'm gonna have to make some more manually right here. All right. So we're just trying to tap into all the resources that I have here. We're, we're gonna need more than this, of course. So we'll just make more right now. Anything we can do, you know. But it looks like this side is having a bit of a problem now, but that's okay. Uh, looks like this is gonna have to go up slightly more, though. As as I said, they they we're cr trying to just mine out all the sides of this of this stuff. As long as it's kind of making it to the other side, we're good. All right. Steel processing completed. Right, good stuff. And let's see, what do we want now? Uh, fluid handling, heavy armor is pretty good. Um, I mean, that's a prerequisite to a bunch of other stuff. The thing is, we can actually now do green science stuff, because we actually have some green science now. Uh, so it really depends upon what we want. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough choice, but I think I should start working towards these steel furnaces. Um, and steel furnaces, you'll see, they're like, like double the production value. It's actually freaking great. Uh... Let's see here. We're gonna need no more iron plates. So this is also gonna be one of the little interesting things we have to actually deal with right now, which is um, how many more furnaces do we have? We have like a couple more. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a couple of furnaces here. And you're gonna think this is weird to yourself, but yeah. Uh, so we want to make a nice layout for steel. Steel is basically just made out of, uh, uh, it's made out of iron and so, but a lot of iron, like it's a ridiculous amount of iron. So what I normally do is just to get me going is when I finish steel, I just kind of put the machines, get the machines going and that's it. Cause that's going to eat most of it. And we're going to need that, and we're also going to need stone bricks. So, actually, we're going to come up here. I think we have enough walls. At least to keep us going for now. Oh, also that ran out of... That ran out of juice, so that's, that's kind of nice. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get some more coal. You know, these coal mines are going to be... They're not running out quite yet, but... We're going to get... We're going to re be reaching that point. And also our... Power's still good, but it still would not hurt us to add another side to that. Anyways, I kind of figured I would be manually feeding this thing up here, but that's okay, because we don't care. So here's what the second thing we're going to do is here. So I think 394 walls is enough. Um, we're going to happily just get rid of that. Because we're going to need stone. Lots of stone. Fortunately, it seems like I don't even know why I have this much stone on me, but whatever. Oops, shit. Okay. That also counts as a road you can put down, but uh, we don't have the stone to waste on that. We're just kind of hoping to ourselves that we're just going to mine this out, and then we can just we can pull back our our defenses here, so it doesn't matter.
Oh shit, this is actually almost done. Luckily we have more than sufficient amounts of ammo. Alright. Um, so, we typically work on steel now, um, and also getting a couple mi more miners going in some other places wouldn't be that bad of an idea. We also need to now also upgrade our assembly machines, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing next time. We're going to be just uh, keeping our mining output uh, going high. Uh, like, this is still not enough uh, iron coming through, but yeah. Um, we'll fix that up, and uh, we'll uh, see you uh, next time. Goodbye.